Yeah, yeah, I hear you, truck. 7.30 in the morning, and you already know, it's Monday morning, week two, month two, flip three. Start of a new week, and I filmed a video yesterday that I wanted to share with you guys, but then I start second guessing it. Ah, man, I hate that. When I'm not filming for a while, and then I try to catch up or bring you guys up to speed, I feel like sometimes I don't do it the best way. So I don't know if I even did anything with that video, and I probably did I'm gonna err on the side that I probably didn't. So let me share with you what's going on first and foremost. Had to go to Lowe's this morning. Had to buy this whole tub drain set right here, 40 piece, inch and a half, PVC. And I only bought that set because I need two screws. That's it, two screws for a, a, a tub overflow cap that didn't have the screws. They'll sell you the cap without no screws. And that was the only place I could find the screws was in that $30, 40 piece set. So I got that. And then I got a inch and a half to inch and a half compression fitting for copper uh, with a female adapter elbow type of deal. I need that for the shower head, for the shower part of the tub. I'm working on a downstairs bathroom and I've been working on this thing for at least two weeks. I'm almost to the point where I can mud the walls. I potentially will be mudding today. And I'm super happy and hopeful that I'm gonna reach that point because I can then go buy one of the two new tools that I'm looking forward to getting. Um, a pole sander, drywall pole vacuum sander. That's the first tool that I'm buying. And then I'm also buying a really nice uh, paint spray rig because I'll be painting the house eventually. Uh, to let you guys know, I'm doing all of the work over at the flip myself at this point. Damon's no longer available. His job has just made it so that he's no longer really available for me. And I'm not able to really find any help. I can't keep a guy full time. So I can only take what I can get. And I'll share with you quickly uh, two guys who I tried to put to work. One of them was an ex-military guy. I guess he got out of the Navy after four years or something like that. He came to work with me, no experience. He had tools, he had a vehicle, but again, he didn't know anything. He had a 101 piece tool set and transportation is what he brought to the job. I'm usually paying guys 12 bucks an hour. I told this guy I'd give him $15 an hour. I know a lot of people say 12 bucks, what the fuck, Joe? But here in this local area, that's a fair wage. To put it in perspective, a friend of mine who works at a school, they're hiring for a teacher's assistant. No, a teacher's assistant. No experience necessary. Uh, just need a GED and a clean background, that job starts at $13.50 an hour. So let that speak to, you know, wages in this area. I told the ex-military dude I'd give him $15 bucks an hour just because, just because I needed the help. My buddy Connor tells me, sometimes Joe, hey, you got to just have a set of hands. You need a set of hands. Well, this dude wasn't even really that because he was kind of short. Couldn't even really reach anything. So being a set of hands, he wasn't so much that. And then the fact that he didn't know anything, I mean, this dude really didn't know anything. And it just kind of made the job harder than it needed to be. I'm over explaining everything. Hey, go try to find this tool. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. No, that's not, you know what? Never mind. I'll go get it myself. You know, sometimes help can leave you feeling helpless. So that's the short of it. There's a story that I've been sharing about Anyways, I'm going to leave it alone. It ain't that big of a deal. So that guy didn't work out. He was kind of a pain in the ass. Then there was another guy who was supposed to come work with me. And this guy literally drove by the house. I was doing landscape that day. He drove by the damn house. Didn't even stop and just kept going. And I knew it was him because it was just a suspicious looking vehicle. And, and you know, a vehicle that I hadn't seen before. And um, he would actually text me a couple hours later. I'm out on the landscape job. I really needed this guy that day. Saying, hey man, my bad, I shouldn't have never told you I could start. I had a whole bunch of other stuff going on. But damn, man, you rode all the way out there. You should have at least come and said hello. So, I never even texted him back. Maybe I should have. Whatever. Anyways, long story short, I've been doing the work myself. And I'm enjoying doing the work. You guys probably see that I'm not doing videos. Well, it's because I'm over here every single day. Most of the time, all day, trying to get this work done and for the last two weeks I've been stuck on this downstairs bathroom after this hopefully shit's gonna rock and roll hopefully hopefully by tomorrow I'll be able to move on to the laundry room and then to the kitchen and then finish up the downstairs 
that's part of what I want to share with you guys. The next part that I want to share with you guys is, let me show you this little scene real quick. And this is from the video that I had filmed. And this is in front of my house. This is on Sunday afternoon. And you're seeing this heavy equipment sitting out in front of my house. Well, they've been doing major road construction out in front of my house. And anytime there's major road construction going on where they're busting up roads and pipes and redoing pipes, you know, you got to fear a little bit that shit could go wrong and things could get fucked up in your house. I mean, we even had these seismic uh, like tests done on our property because we're in a historical area. So they did this seismic testing on all of these houses to make sure... I don't know what the test was for, just in case something got messed up. Well, of course, being my luck, not only does something get messed up, two things get messed up. The first thing happens last Thursday. They bust a gas line. Major emergency. Holy shit. This is a pipeline company, professional company. They hit this gas line. Accidents are going to happen. You know, no big deal, right? But they could have blew up the whole street. So I had to rush home from the flip house to make sure that, you know, my house wasn't infested with gas. They get the gas line fixed, and of course, the only house that it affected was my house, where, you know, we had to, my wife had to leave from her work to come home to meet the gas company to get the gas cut back on. It was kind of an inconvenience, but really not even that big of a deal. The second issue is the big deal. On the same day that they hit the gas line, I guess they hit my water line as well. Now, that's what this company is doing, replacing the water lines. Well, they busted my water line. They didn't tell us that they busted our water line. They just fixed it. And without them telling us that they busted the water line, we go use all the water in our house and run this sediment all through our plumbing. Now, this could have been avoided by running from what the plumber would end up telling us, running the spigot outside, like the, 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 the faucet for the outside hose. If they would have ran that, there's the potential all that sediment would have went out right there instead of getting fucking funneled through our whole house by us using toilets and showers throughout the house, which we did. So we get all this sediment built up and on Thursday, I start telling this company outside, hey, we got like messed up water pressure. And they tell me, hey, just take the screens off of your spigots, that'll fix it. Okay, so I do that, still got no water pressure. The next day, I'm trying to take a shower. Now, the first day I took a shower with no water pressure, that was Thursday. Friday, I go to take a shower with no water pressure. And also, my God, you're about to run into the back of me, ain't you? Ain't my fault you got up late and you didn't really want to go to work. But at least you're in the car on your way to work trying to hurry up and get there. Shout out to them riding my ass. I'll get out of the way as well. Just let me get in front of this guy. And hey, you got it, man. Go, go get him, Speed Racer. Go. That's the right thing to do. If you're not gonna drive 80 plus, get out of the way. On Friday, I go to try to take another shower. Now, I've taken the screens off like they've told me to do. And um, shit, I even take the whole, the whole shower head off and just let the freaking water run slam out of the pipe. And I still got messed up water pressure. So, I go outside and I'm pissed off now because not only do I got no water pressure, I've also just taken a shower in dirt. I got all this sediment getting blown all over me. So I go outside and I start raising hell because I feel like for two days I've been getting told a bunch of bullshit. So they tell me they're gonna get a plumber over there and I'm like, okay, that's all I need to hear. I'm not looking for nothing else, just get my water corrected. So Friday night the plumber comes over and he's looking around and he's going out to his van and he's staying on the phone for like 20 or 30 minutes. And we're like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Well, come to find out, we go outside and we overhear him on the phone with the supervisor from the road construction. The woman who told me they're gonna get a plumber out there and they're gonna pay for it. Who is telling the plumber, why are we paying for this? They should be paying for this. It's not our fault they've got galvanized pipes. They're overreacting, they're exaggerating. Yo, we're not looking for nothing. We just, we didn't, and we didn't ask for these problems. Sorry, I'm just getting over to the flip house. Figure I'll show you guys upstairs because nothing has taken place upstairs. Ah, yeah. Ah, God damn, it still smells like piss up here. It's crazy, I haven't been upstairs in like a month here. Do you hear that knocking outside? That's the fan on my HVAC system, my heat pump. 
I think my fan's loose or something. But the, H, the AC works good in here. It's gonna be 90 today too, so I'm gonna need that cranked down to 68. All right, so anyways, the plumber shows up. Um, the same supervisor who told us they were gonna get the situation squared away and that they were gonna pay for everything is bitching to him saying, why are they paying for it? We're overreacting, it's our fault, basically. So, the plumber's saying, hey look, they're not overreacting. They've got some major sediment built up and we're gonna have to nitrous blast their plumbing and hopefully that's gonna fix it. But there's the potential their plumbing could never be the same again. There's the potential that all of their plumbing will have to be undone. It's all copper piping in the house. I think they said galvanized at first. So, Saturday, the plumber comes back and they work over there for half of the day and they nitrous blast everything and they pretty much get everything back to normal, pretty close to back to normal. Now our upstairs shower is still messing up, but well, I was messing with that this morning and I seem to have gotten more sediment out of it and maybe it's okay. But the fact of the matter is, is I knew I was gonna have to talk <clears throat> with these supervisors from this construction company and I, I had a feeling it was gonna go bad. I had intentions of filming this and really ripping their heads off for saying like, how dare you say that we were over exaggerating and that, you know, whatever. But after talking with a friend, they said, you know, don't do that. Just try to talk with them pleasantly and just see where it goes. And you know, if the issue persists, then you take further action, legal action. So I was like, okay. So this morning I'm on my way out. Oh, and mind you, there's also another issue. There's a woman supervisor, there's a man supervisor. It's my belief that the woman supervisor is out there because there was a cat calling problem taking place. Like my wife didn't feel comfortable walking the dogs because these dudes were out there cat calling her. It's 2021, like what, what are we doing? Uh, you know, you're a professional company, you can't be doing that. The neighbor's girlfriend was having that problem as well. So anyways, I'm walking to my truck this morning. I know I'm gonna, I can see the man supervisor sitting in his vehicle and he's kind of a dick, you know, let's just call it what it is. So I'm walking by and I'm looking to talk with him and he says to me, he says, hey, is your plumbing right? I said, for the most part. And he says, what do you mean for the most part? Like he's getting aggravated about this. I said, well, I'm still having a hit or miss situation with my shower upstairs and he's starting to get a little belligerent with me. No bullshit. The guy actually started yelling at me. And I said, look, man, like, who the fuck are you yelling at first and foremost? Because I'm ready to take this to a 12. Don't, you know, you're, you're like, you're a professional company. So anyways, he yells at me for a hot second, like, oh, oh, she didn't say that when I was saying, oh, and by the way, your female supervisor who spoke to the plumber said that we were over exaggerating and that we should be paying for this. And that's when he was yelling at me. She didn't say that. How do you know? Were you on the phone as well? Were you right there next to her when she was saying this? Like, I don't, I don't know, maybe he was. But she definitely said these things and I've got two witnesses, my wife and the neighbor who heard this. Like, why would we, why would we make this up, right? At this point, the city guy is driving down the street as well and dude's being super like, you know, dickhead-ish to me, right? And I'm talking to him and the city guy and I'm like, look man, I pay my, per my personal property tax for this shit like, I didn't ask for any of this. I simply just wanted my plumbing fixed. And I said, and let me tell you something. If my plumbing continues to be a problem, y'all will be back up and they're tearing down the walls and redoing all of my plumbing. Okay, we'll have the news out here. I'll make a little YouTube video about this. I never mentioned anything about YouTube. Um, and you know, the city guy's just sitting there listening to me. And the supervisor sitting there denying everything. I told the city guy, I'm like, look, please go, you know, address the female supervisor and let her know that she handled the situation very unprofessionally, saying that we were lying about this, like whatever. And the whole time the other guy's like, she never said any of that. Okay, now we're trying to, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're sitting here lying about this, right? He is. Um, so then I also mentioned the cat calling. I said, hey, look, man, also, um, you know, can we kill the cat calling out here? Like, we don't need that going on. It's 2021, man. That's a bad look for a professional couple. Ain't nobody cat calling out here. We work in, in neighborhoods in Virginia Beach. What the fuck that got to do with anything? What's that got to do with anything? You know, it's my understanding this female supervisor is out here to, to man sit, to babysit you grown men because of this situation. I could be wrong. I don't know. I just heard that. I don't even remember where I heard that. 
Um, but she don't do nothing but just walk up and down the street. So anyways, long story short, what a shit show, you know? I'm not looking for no drama or no problems or no payday. Like, I'm not trying to sue you, but let me, sh let my shit continue to be fucked up. That's a burden that I don't, I don't need. I didn't ask for that, but neither here nor there. Um, it's just crazy to me how much lying they were doing. Like, why would my wife lie about the cat calling, the neighbor's girlfriend lie about the cat calling? Like, these are women who, they ain't got no reason to lie about this shit, right? So, I guess I had already left and um, I hear a bunch of yelling and screaming. And um, I don't know if they were yelling and screaming at me, but I know that when my wife was leaving to go to work, they were having a big powwow right there, a little bit farther away from my house. So hopefully the cat calling at the very least will never happen again. And hopefully they'll just hurry up and get the fuck away from my house. I don't care what they think of me. They may think like I'm the, the owner from hell, but I'm not here causing any, like I didn't ask for any of this, okay? I'm not trying to make your job any more difficult. Y'all made these mistakes. You busted the gas line and then you busted our water. Okay, this is totally your burden. But just wanted to share that with you guys. I gotta get ready to get to work. And hopefully a little later on today, maybe I'll be able to share with you guys this bathroom. I'm really, really hoping I get pretty far on that today. <clears throat> what time is it? It's, it's lunchtime. Mm. Ain't nothing like some barely reheated two-day-old Chinese. Mm. That's good. That's good, General Chow. So, it's 11.30 in the morning. And I am finally ready to mud the bathroom. That shit still took a bunch of work this morning to get ready. And it was pretty close. But we're ready now. So I had to come home. Had to check on my doggos. Oh. That's so good. <clears throat> I actually feel like, and not feel like, I know I have. I've been weighing myself. I've lost some weight. I went from weighing 275 to 267 butt ball naked right now when I got on clothes I still weigh 275 damn this thing but I gotta come home at lunchtime and let the dogs out check on the house and that's just what we got going on my wife's got a new job now so y'all didn't even know my wife she uh she quit her old job mm -hmm. damn sure did now she's got a way better job. Way. My wife making YouTube money, for real. And good for her. She deserves that shit. But I was coming home, and I got to park down the street, walk, because of all the construction. Well, prior to coming home, I called my wife. She told me that the neighbor was texting with her, saying they was out there being extra loud. They've now got their Porter John right in front of my house. I know they've done that shit spitefully, and if I keep feeling like they did it spitefully, I'm going to hook that bitch up to my truck with a strap. I'm going to drag that thing up out of here. I'm really feeling unpleasant. Uh, like, I'm, I'm feeling pissed off about the way that this morning went. Like, this dude sitting out there yelling at me, getting loud with me. Like, who the fuck did he think? I, I'm, not one of your, I'm not one of your workers. I'm a homeowner who's been affected by your bullshit. But, and you're lying on top of that. So what I'm trying to say is as I was coming home today at lunch, I didn't see him, but I did see the female um, supervisor talking to uh, talking to somebody. And uh, yeah, what a, what a shit show out here it is. No more of that. Mm -mm. Mm. You guys okay? Mm. You guys okay? Oh, those are the bestest dogs. Are those the good dogs? Are y'all the good doggies? Hmm. Oh, yes you are. Yes you are. Cool, so I did lunch. Let the dogs out. 
And now I'm getting ready to go back. Getting ready to put it in over there. I was gonna mud, I was just gonna, you know, stick it out and mud over there, but I didn't know how long that was gonna take. And I think that everything is gonna, oh, it's not gonna take me too long. And everything ends up taking me way longer than I think. But I'm hopeful I can get this whole bathroom mudded in like an hour and a half, two hours max. I've got more motherfucking joints in this bathroom than a Snoop Dogg concert. Ah, that was not very funny. There's a lot of joints in this bathroom. Butt joints, seams. What's the other thing called that I put in? Shit, I can't remember. Corner beads. Yeah, did some of those. Three of them joints. And, you know, this bathroom, it's got to be the most work in that. The kitchen's going to be a lot of work. The laundry room's going to be a fair amount of work. But this bathroom, my God. This was a full bathroom remodel. We're getting ready, but all right, let me get over there. Hopefully I don't have any static leaving the house, dealing with these nice people outside. And I'm, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what it looks like after this first coat of mud. I'm excited. How do you do, how do you, how do you do mud? Do you use the paper or do you use the mesh tape? I'm gonna use a little of both. Let's go. All right. Well, it's by no means done at all, the bathroom. Still got plenty of mud work to do. 3.40 in the afternoon, I just got done with the first coat of mud. It's a lot to be admired, that's for damn sure. But considering what this bathroom looked like when we first came into this place, compared to what it looks like right now, I done did a hell of a lot of work in here. And I don't wanna show it yet. I don't wanna show it yet. It's not ready. It's not ready. It ain't ready at all. There's a light right there. Uh, it's not ready at all. So, I'll come back tomorrow. I'll do another coat, I'll sand, do another coat of mud. Uh, my corner beads, and I got three corner beads. They look, I mean, they look fine. I had some mud that wasn't all the way mixed up at one point. Uh, a couple of lessons real quick to share with you guys. I, I'm not showing you the bathroom. Um, I was using 45 minute mud. I mixed up a bucket of 45 minute mud. Not a full bucket, not a full bag, maybe a half a bag, a little bit less than that. And once I got through about a, tr uh, a trough and a half, whatever you call that little drywall mud trough thing, the shit was, it was, it was done. And I, I tried to add some water to it, bring it back. You can't, that, it doesn't work like that. So then I was mixing it up a trough at a time. And um, that was working. I probably went through about five of those to get everything done that I needed to get done up in here. So 45 minute mud, I don't think is the right. I, I think you should go with something more than that. Maybe 90. They probably have a 90 or something. Um, that would be good. Um, I've got some really crazy butt joints in here, but I've already started feathering those out and floating those out. So those are gonna actually look good. I'll be able to do a smooth finish in this bathroom. So I wanted to show it to you guys, but it's just, it's just not ready yet. It's not ready yet. So much work I have done in this bathroom. Addressing the moisture issue, getting up underneath of the house, New tub, new tub surround, new window, <laughs> a lot of work. But I think tomorrow I'm able to move on. So I'm super happy about that. Productive day, ass busting day. I thought the mud was gonna be fun. It's, it wasn't, I've got the shit all over me. But um, got that first coat done at least. So I'm happy with that.